quicker and uh, bring better quality. So uh, we have master duplicate color correction. Uh, then we're gonna go image and uh, we're gonna go image size. We're gonna check our image size, which is like 20 megapixels, over 20 megapixels, like about 22 megapixels over here, even more, like 24 which is beautiful size but unfortunately we are going to cut this image so um, before I'm gonna cut this image I'm gonna correct the color and um, because that's what this layer is for and uh, I'm gonna go and uh, image select the layer first with, with what, what we're working with which is master duplicate color co correction I'm gonna go image. I'm gonna go. It's always good to use the autotone. It can bring you some nice, um, nice effect to your images. Uh, uh, why I'm telling you this? Because I developed the image uh, um, editor myself. It's called Moros Image Editor, and um, it's probably going to be available pretty soon as freeware for anybody to download. It's going to work out uh, up to with. 120 um, image graphics formats and it will give you ability to manipulate with your images and I have the other tone on it's called other tune other color tune in my software and what it does it supplies some pretty cool things that I think will uh, make your image look better and I'm not sure what kind of formulas the in functions they're applying over here but let's try it and you will see um, that it's gonna bring some uh, different scene to our image but I don't want to make it to the darker like so I like the way it was before so I'm gonna remove it back try the other color and let's see if I like the other col color well excuse me uh, I like the other color but Yeah, I like the other color, but I would like to have one more color correction, two layers. So I'm going to go to my master, disable this for now, and I'm going to create again master duplicate, duplicate um, color correction warmer. I'm going to call it warmer, and I'm going to click OK. And this guy right here, I'm going to name him Color Correction. Double click on the file uh, layer name. You can rename the layer. Color Correction. I'm going to call it Cooler. And um, I have two types of color correction, which is cooler, like so, which look like real life colors. And some of you, as a photographer, they will ask me, dude, why don't you play with the hue in your uh, EV on your Nikon body? And let me tell you that, you know, first of all, Nikon um, image uh, processor is very slow comparing to Photoshop and my i7. And secondary, it's better to have the raw at zero everything as possible. And then I can, since it's digital, I can manipulate uh, with the Photoshop and my i7 to the colors that I like. So I'd like to keep the colors the way camera produce at that level and but I'm very precise with my focus and the focus on this shot is so so because it was at night and it was manual so as you can see not too much but it's not it's not very sharp just because the two images and as you can see giving you that 3d level uh, those um, right here and then the building is right here it's like 3D level, this is like out of focus, and this one is not still in perfect focus, but in focus. And um, but when I'm uh, photograph, uh, when I'm doing my photos with my body, I would like to make sure photos are sharp as possible, and they're light as possible with that sharpness. And I still have the highlights that I need to. So in Photoshop, I can dark them up on the contrast, and um, you know by darkening the image you're not going to bring the noise M my thing that i hate in the photography it's in digital photography is the noise i hate it so much that's why i'm using the iso as low as possible and um, 
then uh, playing with the aperture and uh, shutter release speed so but yeah so you got an idea um, I would like to correct the color in Photoshop and but get the focus and uh, the scene and highlights with the body as much as I can and less noise all right so we have two different styles of um, layers so what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna select this guy right here and I'm gonna go and select right here and I'm gonna apply the quick mask to it so I can edit this guy this layer without damaging the original layer image so I'm gonna go select uh, the gradient black and white like so and um, I'm just gonna keep the grass this color and the sky is gonna go vanilla like on a warm and let's see if I like it and as you can see I bring that warmer color over here and keep that vanilla sky on top not so much so I'm gonna make it uh, maybe uh, longer like so so the house will be more yellowish not reddish the light on the house and um, not happy yet alright so we're, we're gonna do it this way opposite way actually and everything with this white is invisible and uh, everything what is black is visible so um, I'm going to try to bring as close as possible all right actually everything with this white is um, I'm sorry is visible and everything what is black is invisible on this layer so the top which is black will be invisible and white will be visible with a slightly color gradation trans uh, um, gradient transparency which is gonna slide into the vanilla sky like so and I don't like it because I wanna make my uh, cows more yellowish instead of reddish and it doesn't work so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to this guy right here and um, I'm gonna duplicate this layer disable this guy right here. Yeah, I'm just going to adjust more colors with the hue uh, saturation and I'm gonna adjust more saturation to keep it um, away uh, from uh, I'm gonna click on that black and white gradient and we're gonna delete the layer mask so we're gonna go to our original image and what I'm gonna do over here I'm gonna make this yellow more like natural yellow on the light so um, I'm gonna go image sorry this video recording in real time for you guys and I'm trying to uh, I didn't put it down somewhere in the paper it's not a transcript it's in real life and um, let me know what you think about my tutorials by the way and saturation I'm gonna bring it like so bring more natural light like so and the colors right here like at the night and then uh, I'm gonna enable a master duplicate color correction which, which is warmer colors and um, right now I can delete this guy right here I don't need it I'm gonna adjust mask to this guy and uh, what I'm trying to achieve over here slightly vanilla sky with the nice cooler top I mean bottom warmer uh, top and cooler bottom of my photo and about like so as you can see it's getting better maybe a little bit upper like so like that so it's gonna bring that natural um, take away that warmer colors and bring that natural yellow 
and then vanilla just only on top a little bit longer like so let me do it like like maybe like so yeah like so all right so you got an idea and that's that's what how we want it and now i'm just gonna show you how to remove that distortion from the lens i'm gonna select the spot the i'm sorry i'm gonna select the healing brush tool holding shift somewhere around it where it's clean area and i like it then it's gonna be like a target i'm gonna left button of my mouse to set it and then click on it that dot I'm gonna do it again. Um, I'm gonna go healing spot. I'm gonna click shift. All right, it doesn't work. Oh, okay. It doesn't work because we have uh, we have our master duplicate right here with uh, uh, with a, a, a quick layer mask. So that's why it doesn't work. So I'm gonna back up, undo the way it was before and what I'm gonna do now um, I'm gonna make a screenshot of this by select all and then edit copy merge I have it all now and uh, after copy merge and I'm gonna paste it right here and I'm gonna call this master color correct it like so master color corrected okay and it's good to keep in the same style on your naming of the layer will get confused and um, now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click and make another copy and I'm gonna make it master color corrected and uh, defects corrected distortion distortion corrected and on this on this guy right here I'm gonna click OK I'm gonna go ahead and correct the distortion and now I'm gonna work with a um, healing brush and uh, using your alt button you can copy the area that you think will be good applying over here in a smooth transaction gradient so I'm clicking the alt button you can see the target left button of my mouse setting up and then left but uh, releasing the alt button and getting to a dot that distortion and left button of my mouse clean it and again and again like few times around it it's gonna give me that solid gradient like so and then I'm gonna do with this guy the same thing I'm gonna clone it use this tool again healing brush I'm gonna somewhere over here in a dot dark close uh, kind of close color pixels I'm gonna select them with the alt a mouse button left button on my mouse in the PC I'm not sure about the Macintosh yet but I have my Mac right here with me as well excuse me just didn't have a time to play with the 